Now, we are just two days away from the release of the Sussexes tell-all documentary, Marry and... Harry? <laughs> Marry? Harry and Meghan. <laughs> uh, yeah, we showed you... Uh, there's been a lot of it. We showed you a bit of this yesterday. Here is a little reminder. I realised they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. We showed you a bit of the trailer yesterday, and in that, uh, Harry talked of leaks within the royal family, as well as planted stories. Now, it's been met with pretty mixed reviews, and it's also been pointed out that some of the pictures used in that trailer are, how can we say this, a little deceiving. That's that's the accusation. Yeah, OK, so, for example, this image uh, taken from the trailer you've just seen seems to suggest that the paparazzi are hounding the couple. But it was actually taken as Katie Price arrived at court last year. And we know this as that man circled right there was actually one of our camera operators. Hmm. It is uh, confusing, isn't it? Is it distorting? It's an important question. Let's yeah. ask uh, a, a couple of royal commentators, Katie Nicholl and Afia Hagen, who join us on the programme. Thank you very much for, for being with us. Um, let's start... Uh, Katie, with you first of all, what did you make of the trailer and, and what did you think of the reaction to that 24 hours on? Uh, well, dramatic, incendiary, controversial, partisan, how many words do you want? Um, it's, uh, it, it's ticked all the boxes, hasn't it? Because it's had non-stop news coverage, acres of headlines and, well, we'll have to wait to see what the viewing figures are, but given that Netflix have dumped £100 million behind this production, they're going to be expecting um, box office uh, box office turnout, really, and uh, it's attracted a lot of talk. The trailer's been viewed I don't know how many million times. It's interesting that there are more dislikes than likes on that trailer, um, but, of course, now we're talking about it for reasons that I think do put... a pretty significant important question mark over the integrity of the program makers and the veracity of what they're saying if we're starting off with pictures that don't reflect a real image how much can we rely on what's going to be said what did you make of the trailer and and also actually the reaction to it I mean, yes, definitely, hugely dramatic. Lots of things in there that I didn't expect to, to see. And when we talk about the pictures that were used, I think, you know, to be honest, Netflix and the production company, they're two pretty huge juggernauts. They know what they are doing. There's nothing to say that all the pictures that we have seen in the trailer, will, in the two trailers, actually, will actually be in any of those six episodes. The trailers have done their job. We are talking about it. The appetite is wet. Everybody wants to know what's going to be in these uh, six parts. You know, the first part we're going to get this Thursday. The next part we get the Thursday after. And actually, I think this is about the use of stock photos and the use of an editor and a producer who sat down and said, this is what we want to achieve. These are the pictures that we're going to use to get that. I'm not saying that that's right at all in any way, shape or form. And actually, I think they should have been much more responsible and also should know that people will do their digging, especially when it comes to Harry and Meghan, and will potentially find out that you've used pictures that are actually nothing to do with them. And I think actually Harry and Meghan would take exception to that and would say, look, we're already going to come up with a challenge. This is already going to be so divisive when we talk about our story. Let's try and make the basis of this as truthful as possible mm. because it's only going to make people think that what we talk about in the documentary may not be truthful. I think truthful. But I think that's what we have to focus on. We have to focus on what they're about to say, okay. what they're about to tell mm. us. I think this is a little bit of a red herring. Uh, Katie, do you think that there's a chance that there could be perhaps more scrutiny on this documentary because it's the documentary of Harry and, and Meghan? Because if you look, oh gosh, when it comes to reality TV and trailers, this is the norm. I don't know if you, know if you remember, the BBC did a, a documentary on the Queen and they showed her storming off and the production company had to come out and apologise for just absolutely depicting the Queen incorrectly. Is this maybe just the norm, but as I say, more scrutiny because it's Harry and Meghan? 
Yes, you, you quite right, and I completely forgotten about that, but you're, you're absolutely right to raise that because in that case, the trailer proved far more provocative than the programme itself. I'm sure the palace um, will be hoping that that's very much the case in this. And I suspect that we're going to, to be quite shocked and, and surprised by a lot of what the couple said. And, and then probably most of it is going to ring pretty true because we've heard we've heard them voice and, uh, and be disgruntled for so long. It's going to be very interesting to see whether they raise any new themes, whether there are new controversies and allegations in this. I, I, I get the sense that it's going to be more of the same, but they have had the spotlight on them in a different way. This is a docu-series. It's going to feel very, very different to that Oprah interview, um, even if many of the themes that they cover are going to be okay. the same. Okay, uh, Katie Nicholl and Afia Hagen, good talking to you both. Thank you.